Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reading The Teddy Bear Secret Illustrated by Gail Yarrell Before I start, I would like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, could you please subscribe? Thank you. Once upon a time, there lived a bear called Bear. He had fuzzy brown fur and a beetle black nose and a person called Ben. Ben thought Bear was the best teddy bear in the whole wide world. But of course, all teddies are special, particularly when they're yours. Everybody thought that Ben looked after Bear. No one could have guessed, least of all Ben, that really it was the other way around. Bear kept sharks out of the water when Mum went to fetch Ben for his bath. He fought the monsters under the bed while Ben slept. And he whispered happy thoughts in his ear so all his dreams were good. not know it but your teddy bear does all these things for you too and even more besides teddy bears all over the world take care of their people every single day without anybody ever guessing and all because of the teddy bear secret. Whenever there's a person nearby. Bears have to keep very still and quiet. But when they're on their own or when you're fast asleep, you can be sure that your 
teddy bear is a very busy bear indeed. Ben's bear had a very important job in the playroom. Warning all the other toys whenever there was a person nearby. Everybody go Teddy! He would shout and all the bears would stop whatever they were doing. Holding tea parties, climbing up the curtains, or sliding down them, and teddy bears picnics, riding on spinning tops, or encouraging the toy soldiers not to fall out with one another and sit perfectly still wherever they happened to be. That's why you might not always be able to find your teddy where you left him. Bears are terribly good at hide and seek. And while you might lose things from time to time, like coloured pencils, favourite books, indoor shoes and outdoor boots. The next time you lose your pencil sharpener be sure to talk to your teddy about it because I expect he has been using it. Just remember, he might not be able to tell you where it is because of the teddy bear secret. But that's why bears make the best listeners after all. So cuddle your bear and kiss him good night. For a while he is with you the Bed bugs won't bite. I hope you enjoyed listening to my book. Thank you. Take care and goodbye.